Good afternoon. My name is David Allen Ware, and it's my privilege to serve as the Dean of the Mary Pappert School of Music. Welcome to the 2021 Awards Day Ceremony. The first part of today's event is one of the most prestigious and momentous in the life of the university, the awarding of an honorary doctorate. In the fall of 2019, the faculty of the music school nominated Sandy DeCrescent for this honor. After a thorough review, the Board of Trustees approved the conferral, which was to have occurred during the May 2020 commencement ceremonies. COVID upset that plan, but we are delighted to have Sandy DeCrescent with us today, live from Los Angeles, to celebrate her distinguished and historic career. Sandy DeCrescent is the most successful and prolific orchestra contractor in Hollywood. For the average person on the street, you say orchestra contractor, and what's that? Uh, it means about as much to them as a lot of the other job descriptions that you read at the as the credits roll at the end of movies. I mean, who knows what a best boy is or a grip or a Foley artist? Well, when a Steven Spielberg or George Lucas, one of the big producers, when they need music, they don't go out and hire the individual musicians themselves. They know that they better call Sandy. And it's Sandy who knows all the right musicians to hire to make for perfect music. I'd ask anyone, when was the last time you heard an out of tune note or a wrong note in a movie score? How about never? And that is due in large part to the talent, the hard work, and yes, the genius of Sandy DeCrescent. Here are two of, of Sandy DeCrescent's colleagues and Mary Pappert School of Music faculty members, violinists Charles and Rachel Stegeman. In all our lives, there are people that we don't know impacting us in ways that we're not aware of. Sandy de Crescent has been making the most exquisite orchestral choices for decades upon decades in an industry that absolutely lives from the music. Sandy's known throughout the industry as the ultimate contractor. She contracted for all the most important movies and recordings and commercials and video games. As the contractor for most of what we've heard over the last decade upon decade, Sandy has provided to the major commercial studios uh, of Los Angeles the best orchestras that can be gotten. All the major motion picture uh, studios, producers, directors, composers, arrangers, have all called on Sandy's talents for decades for the most important movies of our time. I first became aware of uh, Sandy's role through my wife, who will speak shortly about it as her, one of her players in the studios in Los Angeles. The other thing Sandy did was add the female voice to the orchestras and the players by adapting a a group of people that were predominantly male into equal and fruitful and balanced. So the fact of the matter is, is she's been important also as a, you know, as somebody who brings what's important to the fore, even in business. Not a musician herself, I want to nonetheless say that for music, there are very few people who have given so much to our art form, and for that I'm very thankful. Thank you, Sandy, and congratulations. Hello, I want to congratulate Sandy DeCrescent on this amazing award and um, say that there's nobody better I can think of to get this than you. It's been such a long time since I've seen you, but um, since moving to Pittsburgh, I have such great memories of Los Angeles and working with you almost on a daily basis for over a decade. For all of you listening, when, <clears throat> if you're a Hollywood musician, and you hear the name Sandy de Crescent, there's a certain amount of reverence for that name, you know, and you wouldn't know it maybe if you're not there, but it's sort of like if you're in Hollywood and somebody mentions Steven Spielberg or John Williams, those names are big, and that's how Sandy de Crescent's name is to musicians in Hollywood. She's like a huge business executive of the biggest company you can imagine. So, 
there's a little intimidation, yeah. But when you know her, she is just the friendliest person ever. Um, so here I am sitting on a session for Minority Report. And I'm sitting with a good friend of mine. And after lunch, we're a little tired. We had bought candy from the candy shop at the uh, studio commissary. So we're sitting there secretly eating our candy. And up walks Steven Spielberg and says, uh, excuse me, can I have some of that candy? So, of course, we're going to give our candy to Steven Spielberg. So I think of these moments, like, what kind of a job could you be sitting on and have something like this happen? Then, a couple minutes later, look over and see Sandy DeCrescent sitting there, John Williams conducting the orchestra, and thinking, how cool is this? There's no place I'd rather be at this very moment on the whole earth. So from a musician's standpoint, and looking at this award and seeing what uh, Sandy's been given here, 100% no one could have deserved this more. And uh, I'm very honored to be here congratulating you. So bravo to you. Thank you, Professor Stegman and Professor Stegman. And now a greeting from the 13th president of Duquesne University, Ken Gormley. Thanks, Dean Ware. On behalf of everyone here at Duquesne University, I want to extend a warm welcome to this towering figure in the film and music industry, Sandy DeCrescent. Sandy, we're beyond thrilled that you could join us today so that we could confer upon you this well-deserved honorary degree. I want you to know how disappointed I am that I can't join your virtual Zoom ceremony this afternoon but I hope you've enjoyed the musical offerings of our impressive Mary Pappard School of Music faculty and students, representing just a few of the fabulous film scores you've helped bring to life over the past decades. For students, family, and friends participating in this special ceremony, I've been greatly anticipating this moment when we'd have the opportunity to honor the extraordinary contributions of Sandy DeCrescent, an exemplary role model for all of our Duquesne University students. As those gathered today have already heard, Sandy has worked with countless talented television and film composers throughout her impressive career. Her determination to promote gender equality led her to create the first industry orchestras in which positions were split equally between men and women. Sandy, your drive, professionalism, and creativity are a shining example to all of us. Your commitment to equality directly aligns with our university's historic mission of providing life-changing opportunities to everyone, both in our acclaimed Mary Pappard School of Music and across all disciplines. Today, we're honored to virtually bestow upon you this well-deserved honorary degree from Duquesne University and now to officially confer the Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters, it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. David Dowsey, Executive Vice President and Provost of Duquesne University. We're so proud and honored to make this presentation today. Thank you, President Gormley and Sandy. It's such an honor to be here with you live today with Dean Ware and with all of our students and faculty and family that have come to celebrate with you. I have a few things that we'll be um, sending to you uh, via mail that I'll show you in just a moment. But to make it official, um, I will read this quick statement. Sandy DeCrescent, as Executive Vice President and Provost of Duquesne University of the Holy Spirit, and by the authority and virtue vested in me by the President and Board of Directors of Duquesne University and by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Human Letters, Honoris Causa, and with all the rights and privileges thereto attached, and cause you to be vested with the hood of the appropriate degree. And here is the degree. It's actually humongous, Sandy. <laughs> here is the degree, um, and I'm sure this will be um, a wonderful addition to your home. Uh, we're grateful to um, send this to you. Um, this is the honorary degree. And we also have the hood that we will send as well, um, that will be mailed to you, um, that we would normally have a hooding ceremony uh, where we would put this over top of you. But uh, due to the pandemic, uh, we are doing this virtually. So we are so honored 
um, that you are able to receive this award and grateful to be able to award it to you. Thank you, Provost Dowsey. And now for some words from Dr. Sandy DeCrescent. This is a great honor for me and I am grateful, appreciative and proud because very few people in life get a chance to change a situation that was not an equitable one. And women, you know, the minute they'd say they're pregnant, uh, the all male contractors would say, well, that's it, but we don't want getting to be getting phone calls that your baby's not well and you can't come in, you know, all of the usual. And we have as fine a group of women and men as you'll find anywhere. And the women, I don't know, I, I, not being a musician, I say this just from hearing, the women add a warmth and a diversity that was much needed. And now here we are, and I'm just thrilled about this. And my old friend, Rachel, um, was a shining example of a great violinist. And it's my honor to have these people on the stage. You know, I, I don't take myself very seriously, and I, but I take them extremely seriously. So thank you. And thanks to all the women that have made this possible. And I'm delighted. Thank you. Congratulations again, Dr. Sandy DeCrescent. That concludes the first part of today's award ceremony.